हेलो मेरा नाम है डॉक्टर कोहेली भट्टाचार्य एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे इस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी ऑन आई एक्सरसाइजेस नाउ प्रीवियसली आई हैव पोस्टेड एन इंस्टाग्राम रील अबाउट आई एक्सरसाइजेस for dry eyes and computer vision and for eye strain and the video went pretty viral with more than 2.5 million views which i last checked so today i thought i'll make a full youtube video on eye exercises <clears throat> so before you ask me will these exercises reduce my number and everything i have written on a board what are these eye exercises going to help you with and what they are not going to help you with so these exercises will help you for dry eyes will help with digital eye strain will help with puffy eyes and swollen eyes might help with eye pressures and definitely help you with meibomian gland dysfunction or mgd what these exercises will not change is your myopia number your hypermetropia number your cataract status diabetic retinopathy or press myopia or glasses which you get after 40 or your reading number so with this in mind let's get started with today's video so the first exercise which i want to teach for eye exercise is a lymphatic drainage around your ears now why around the ears so all of the lymphatics all of the drainage from the eye lids is going to drain from the lymphatics into these lymph glands which are in front and behind your ears so all of the lymphatic drainage from the face goes to the ears so why is this important <clears throat> so this is a story from just yesterday yesterday i had a very late night and i was on my screen for a very long time and i slept also less and today morning my eyes were one fourth the size of my normal eyes and i had so much eyelid swelling so just after doing 5 minutes of lymphatic drainage exercise around my ears i saw the puffiness around my eyes go down and that is when i thought i must make this video for all of you who have puffy eyes when either you've cried a lot the night before so you have puffy eyes or you've not slept enough so you have puffy eyes and you want to just you know decompress your eyes and you're wondering what to do then this is the exercise so you are going to just make your fingers like this and massage front and behind the ears right so this is going to activate the lymphatics of this area and then once you've done that you are going to draw the lymphatics down your neck to help the lymphatics go down your neck so very simple around your ears and then down your neck right so once you have done this then you can start working around your eyes by lightly pressing not on your eyes but on the area around it just try it for 2 to 3 minutes and see how much less the swelling gets and then you can lightly pull it towards your ears right you are pulling it towards your ears so you start it from your ears drew it to your neck went round your eyes stimulating the lymphatics and then lightly drawing it to your ears so that's the first exercise which is going to help you with your puffiness of your eyes which may also help you with um, eye strain digital eye strain especially long nights of screen time and is going to make you feel you know less tired your eyes looking less tired right so that was the first exercise now this second exercise which i'm going to share is a type of eye qigong exercise which i started doing maybe about 10 days back the reason why i uh, discovered this eye exercise was definitely just by accident and i thought i'll give it a try now i am having a lot of screen time these days up to 8 to 14 hours of computer time because i'm writing my book and that means that i have a lot of screen time and my eyes were definitely getting tired so i just thought that i'll give this exercise a try and it has really helped me and that is why i'm sharing this exercise with you it's very simple <clears throat> you can do either one side one time or you can do both of them at the same time of course when i learned it or i saw it the person was doing it only on one side first and then on the other side but i just for convenience sake i do both sides at the same time when i do it at home but i'll show you both sides separately 
So what you're supposed to do is take your ring finger because it's the softest finger on the ice. So the pressure is very light and you are going to make light circles. So you're going to make eight circles clockwise and eight circles anti-clockwise. So you're going to start from the inside of your eyes close to your lid margin. You go eight times. After do a little space again eight times clockwise and eight times anti-clockwise. You're not putting a lot of pressure but just enough just very light pressure on the eyelids. <coughs> so what this does is that it helps clear your meppomian glands. It really activates the meppomian glands and prevents dry eyes. Now how does this work? So if you know your meppomian glands, your eyelash line is like this and the meppomian glands are placed like this. So if you were to do a massage across then you are really not draining your meppomian glands. So what you need to do is drain from top to down right but obviously they are so small that it's not possible for you to do like this and it's going to pull the skin so a very gentle way is to go in circles and this way you are lightly massaging on the meibomian glands and helping you know the stuck fluid the accumulated fluid uh, and the secretions to start to move and they're going to help uh, you know drain it now, when is this exercise very important? If you get constant collisions, if you get constant styes, if you have a lot of screen time, then this exercise really helps. And now let's do the lower uh, margin as well. And the lower margin, especially I saw in the last 10 days, is so, so helpful, was seriously so helpful for me itself. Just do it for two minutes and see how much more so you're going to look up and you're going to just gently go clockwise and anti-clockwise and seriously this feels so relaxing like i just did it in the video and i'm feeling just so much more brightness and just feeling a rush of uh you know like i feel bright in my eyes i don't know how to explain it until you really do it it's a very non-scientific way of explaining it that my I feel bright eyed but I do by just doing this for the just part of the video right so try this exercise so along the lid margin you are going clockwise and anti-clockwise right and up and downwards and they are going to stimulate your uh, glands on your eyelids of course a little bit of the pressure also passes into the eyeball but now we're going into the third exercise now in this third exercise we are so here we had done along the lid margin now we are going to go you're going to look down and you're going to do the same eye movements uh, same movement of your fingers clockwise and anti-clockwise clockwise and anti-clockwise and now this time <coughs> the pressure is happening on the eyeball itself not on the cornea not on the cornea but along the eyeball right and again you will feel very very comfortable doing this very gently you are doing a little clockwise and anti-clockwise motion along the eyeball again you can look up and do it get into the creases and just massage your eye same thing on the other side you can do both of them together the way I tend to do it at home just saves time but in the video I'm showing you to do it singularly try it with one eye at a time when you're starting out so what does this exercise do so this exercise let me show you so this exercise stimulates all the blood vessels that are going from your muscles which are going along the conjunctiva and uh, definitely don't do this exercise after you have had squint surgery at least not for the one or two months after you had squint surgery uh, also maybe avoid it after you had cataract surgery right so what this does is that it stimulates the blood vessels on the conjunctiva and along the blood vessels now these are the vessels which are on the outside of the eye not on the inside of the eye now why is this very interesting and i found it really interesting is because that this, 
the the fluid inside our eye which is your vitreous fluid and your aqueous fluid which is inside the eye they get formed inside the eye but they don't get absorbed inside the eye so they get formed the aqueous gets formed inside the eye and then it needs to drain outwards into the ciliary and then they kind of get cleared out by the blood vessels on the outside of the eye so they really help now if we were to just gently massage these vessels and just you know increase the blood flow along this or at least open up the channels which might be kind of blocked we could be potentially reducing the eye pressure now again i say potentially maybe reducing the eye pressure inside the eye if you gently do this if you have a family history of glaucoma or increased eye pressure if you are already not on the spectrum of having increased eye pressure now eye pressure <coughs> uh the drops they work on two principles one is it reduces the formation of the aqueous inside the eye and there are certain other eye drops which actually increase the outflow of the eye meaning it increases the flowing out of the uh, <coughs> water from <coughs> from inside to the outside and those are the drops which actually cause a little increased redness of your eyes so i'm guessing they also work on the same principle of increasing the outflow from the eyes and by doing a little gentle very very gentle massage along the eye wall you might just be helping your eyes to clear out a little bit of the pressure we're not putting extreme pressure you're putting very 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 gentle pressure using just the tip of your ring finger but it may just stimulate it so no harm in just trying especially but don't try it if you already have very high pressures of your eyeball and definitely definitely consult your uh, ophthalmologist or eye specialist that this is something that i would like to try uh, do you think that it's possible if you are already on glaucoma medication it's very interesting if you could take your eye pressures before and after doing this exercise <coughs> now uh, the last exercise that i'm going to share today is just pinching your eyebrows and stimulating the skin very very gently we are not causing excessive wrinkles which might not already be there and so you are just pinching the eyebrows and pinching the area around the eyes you're not really pinching the uh, the gentle skin which is over the eyelids right so you are pinching in and around the eyes right uh, so how does this help so again if we go back to the anatomy of the eye and the anatomy of the eyeball we will see that most of the muscles the muscles of the ocular this orbis is attached on the orbit itself and the 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 blood supply is going from outside to in and inside to out the muscles are attached along the um, the orbit the fascia the fascia which the preceptal fascia which separates the front and the back of the eye is also attached along the uh, you know orbital margin and unlike other parts of our body where we actually move and and uh, the movement helps with the movement of the blood the movement of the lymph our uh, this area does not move as much especially if you are using a lot of screen time when we are using screen time it is as good as you are sitting in one place you are not moving around so if you are sitting in one place you are going to get tired so you need to stand and sit stand and sit do a little stretches move around the same way we are doing this by doing these exercises for our eyes just helping the uh, you know the blood and the lymphatics and all of it to move around Our last exercise is one of the most popular exercises that all of you know which is the figure of 8 exercise which i'm going to just explain with a little bit more scientific background to it <clears throat> so you're looking straight and you're looking to your right side then you're looking to your right your right lateral rectus muscle and your left medial rectus muscle are being used to look to your left now when you look to the left the left lateral rectus and the right medial rectus are being used now when this side say you're moving your eyes towards the right and down in this direction your right superior rectus a uh, right inferior rectus and your left superior oblique are being used so you want to just keep looking here for a minute then you look down towards your left and down and here your left inferior rectus and your right superior oblique are being used so you keep looking on this direction 
Now you look towards your left and up. When you look left and up, your uh, left superior rectus, the left superior rectus and the right inferior oblique are being used, right? And when you look on this side in the angle, in this angle, then your right superior rectus and your left inferior oblique are being used. Now, why did I explain the muscles, right? The reason for explaining the muscles is that don't just look up and down because in up and down, there are too many muscles involved. There are about four muscles on this side and four muscles. So you want to use them in these angles, right? So when you use them in angles, then you're using just two muscles in each of the directions, on each of the six directions. So in looking down, middle, up, then crossing over and doing down, middle, up, and then again crossing over. So that way on infinity sign or figure of eight. What will this exercise do? This exercise will not reduce your classes number. I know a lot of videos will say, oh, I do this figure of eight exercise. I move my eyeballs from right to left, up and down, and that helps me to never wear glasses ever again. So that is not the intention of doing these exercises. These exercises are again to help the muscles move. And as I said that most of the blood supply to the eye is through the muscles. So if you move the muscles, more blood supply will go to these muscles and more blood supply will enter your eyes, more blood will be able to drain from the eyes. So it's a very good way to just keep them healthy, keep them moving, reduce the eye strain, especially if you're looking at just one direction, just moving your eyes a little bit is like just stretching yourself and moving yourself. So I hope that this video has helped you. Let me just revise all the exercises for you. <clears throat> First thing which you will do is around the ears down your neck, around your eyes and stretch it, pull it out towards your ears. The next exercise is you're going to do the circles along the eyelid margin. The next thing is you're going to do these circles uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise along the eyeball, uh, on the eyeball itself. Uh, the next exercise is pinching the eyebrows and pinching your skin around the eyes. And then finally, you're going to use the movement of your eyes in this sequence. And I hope that just doing this for five minutes every day is going to help you uh, feel brighter, less tired, and uh, will help you with your dry eyes. With, with Thank you for watching this video. Please do share this video more and more with your friends and family so that they know a scientific and a beautiful way to take care of their eyes. Thank you for watching.